What is up, photo fam? Welcome back to the channel. So, last night, went into Kansas City to do some street photography, which was like awesome, by the way. I haven't done street photography since I was like 22 years old, so it's been a long time. And it was also my first time ever doing night street photography. So, a little bit of a learning curve there with the ISO. Some of my pictures did come out a little bit grainy, but hey, you know, it's all about learning and improving, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I met some really cool people. It was super fun. If you are nervous about getting into street photography, I will tell you that like nobody got upset with me, nobody seemed offended. Uh, matter of fact, the opposite happened. I had people coming up to me asking me for pictures. Everyone was super welcoming now. Maybe that's a Midwest thing. I understand. I live in Kansas City. Uh, but I would tell you, you know, don't be nervous. Just go out there and try it because it was super fun. Uh, enough of me rambling. Let's check out the video. All right, so a little information on the gear that I'm using tonight. I'm using my Sony a7R II with a Samyang 85 millimeter 1.4 lens. Now, I'm super glad that this guy was standing here because as soon as I got out of my car, some guys approached me and asked me for some pictures, but I hadn't even dialed in my camera yet. So those pictures came out like total crap and I feel bad for those guys because they were really cool. They actually followed my Instagram. So hey, shout out to you guys. Super sorry about that, but hey, I'll get you next time. I'll definitely be back down there. Uh, I'm walking around the Kansas City Power and Light District. Luckily, in most of the area, it's actually pretty well lit. However, some of the you know pictures that I, some of my favorite pictures that I took of some people were in some pretty dim lights. And you know, just look at me, beginner mistake, I guess. Uh, I did not adjust my ISO, and so those came out super grainy. Uh, they won't look too bad on screen here but they definitely will not be able to print. Uh, if I blew those things up, it would just be super obvious. So unfortunately those, in my opinion, are a total loss, but I still threw them in the video because this is my first time ever doing night street photography. And I just like to show people that, you know, hey, everybody makes mistakes. I've been doing you know, photography since 2014 and I still run into problems. So definitely don't feel discouraged if you ever make mistakes because it happens to everybody. Here, I was just super excited to be out here doing street photography. And, you know, I just kind of got caught up in the moment. I was more worried about, you know, just soaking in the moment, you know, taking, you know, some pretty good candid pictures than, you know, just wondering about what my camera was set at. So no worries there. Uh, here's our street car. I was super happy with the way that this one turned out. I'm working on like this new editing style with this, uh, you know, I hate to say moody because everybody, you know, it just seems like a, a very trendy thing to say for these night photography pictures, but you know, just trying to use like that blue and orange contrast. So, uh, you know, these presets that I'm using here, if you like them, just leave me a comment. I'll send them to you. I'm not going to charge you or anything like that. Uh, this, like I said, this channel is all about helping people get better and have fun. So, you know, shoot me a comment if this is something that you like. If you like my editing style, I'm happy to send you these presets. They are on Lightroom though, so you'll have to have Lightroom to be able to uh, use the presets. Now, like I said in the beginning, everybody was super cool with me walking around taking pictures, but I think these first two girls here, I think I might've creeped them out a little bit just because you know they were watching me take pictures and I asked them, hey, do you wanna, you know, wanna get your picture taken? Uh, first, they were a little hesitant, but then I, you know, I told them like, hey, I do this for YouTube and TikTok. I've been doing photography a little while and they you know, kind of warmed up and let me take some pictures, which I'm super happy about because I love doing portraits. I mean, I am a portrait photographer. So being able to uh, capture a couple good portraits in here makes me happy. I just wish I would have adjusted my ISO so they weren't so grainy, but I'm happy with the way they turned out. Now, these guys here were really cool. They were riding up and down the street on a scooter, or on the sidewalk on a scooter. And, you know, same thing. They were watching me take pictures, and I just asked, hey, you guys want to get some pictures taken? Uh, they were like, heck yeah, man. They even actually uh, followed me on my Instagram, which was cool. I really appreciate that. So shout out to you guys if you're watching. Um, now, it just kind of goes to show that you can meet so many cool people with photography. Some of my good friends that I've had for years, I met through oh, yeah. photography. They were clients of mine. So, you know, hopefully that motivates you guys to get out there and take some pictures. I mean, what better way to meet people than to take pictures of complete strangers? It's not as scary as it seems, I promise. Like I said, these guys were really cool. Those girls from before were awesome. And I would say this is probably one of my favorite shots of the night. I mean, being a portrait photographer, I just love being able to you know, capture cool portraits. I get him to where he's you know, got this awesome backlight with the midland and the blue there. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, I, I totally dig that. I'm sure he'll be pretty happy with it too. So if you're following me or if you're watching, hey, shout out to you too, man. I really appreciate it. 
All right, so for the rest of the video, I think I'll just go ahead and end the voice over here. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm on my way to Las Vegas in a couple weeks, so I'll be doing some night photography out there as well, and just some daytime street photography too. If there's any like specific places around the Kansas City area that you guys would like to see, like for sure, let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to you know go out there and you know I'm always down for exploring and meeting some new people so please uh, go ahead and subscribe leave me a comment on some places that you would like to see and enjoy the rest of the video thank you so much for watching guys